Hello, Leap Group viewers. Welcome to Leap.com, L-E-E-B.com. Um, make sure you visit Leap TV, Leap.tv. We have a free investment news seminar video that's going on right now. It's a webinar. It's awesome. It's all about how to invest in these volatile times, especially with what's going on in the Middle East. And so more than, and on that note, more than half of uh, Libya's daily 1.6 million barrels of oil productions is now offline. Uh, with the rest likely to be shut in, shut in shortly, there's simply no way of judging how long the country's oil production will remain off the market. With no uh, with no unified opposition leadership, Libya could well disintegrate into tribal lines, which could keep the oil off the market for some time to come. But the real story is uh, further east in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. Bahrain's King Ahmad bin Isa al Khalifa, an absolute monarch and Sunni Muslim, has freed political prisoners and offered to negotiate with protesters who are from the country's predominantly Shia uh, majority. Ahmad f also flew to Saudi uh, Arabia to discuss events with recently returned King Abdullah. The aging Abdullah has spent the last three months uh, in the United States and Morocco recovering uh, from medical treatment. Even before his arrival in Riyadh, it was announced the king had decreed a $36 billion spending plan that included a 15% pay raise for public sector employees. The introduction of unemployment insurance payments to students living abroad and the establishment of a fund to help Sunnis, to help uh, Saudis buy homes, get married and start businesses. Abdullah also freed political prisoners. While Saudi Arabia has a higher per capita income level than Libya, it's a highly uh, stratified country with the vast majority of income going to a select few, primarily members of the royal family, and it has a sizable Shiite uh, minority in the oil-rich uh, eastern province. So while we think Saudi Arabia will avoid the turmoil engulfing North Africa, we can't uh, take anything for granted. Thanks for dropping by and we'll see you on Monday.